Hey guys, um, since we're all still observing socially distanced guidelines and all that kind of good stuff, I've noticed that um, a ton of my friends have started skiing this year, which is awesome. Um, but after talking to Lindsay, she had commented that after a day, her first day on the slopes, she had like black and blue bruising up and down her shins. So um, I thought I'd do a quick little tutorial of the best way to um, put on ski boots because it did take some tricks. You don't ever want your ski boots to get cold. Like, literally never. Don't ever keep your ski boots in the car. Don't keep them in a cold garage. Treat them with care. Um, and when you store your ski boots, you want them latched, and you want, if you can see the tongue, the tongue will be able to move around. You actually want to store your ski boots inside, keep them warm, all perfectly latched up, so they retain their shape, and they're not impossible to put on. If you're the cold kind and you need the toe warmers, I definitely do. Um, you wanna open these things up and expose them to air for a while before you actually put your boots on. I have found that the few times I take them out of the package and I put them on and I put my foot in the boot, there isn't actually enough oxygen once the boot is all latched to activate um, the chemicals in here needed for heat. So while I can happily open up hand warmers and put them in my mitten and they're fine, these guys are a little bit more picky. So open up your toe warmers and let them sit, um, sometimes even, even for like five minutes before you um, put them on your foot. I prefer uh, ski socks that are like super thin wool. Anything that has too much cushion, um, unless it has a cushion on the shin, um, that's okay. But anything that has cushion on the foot, I find it's just uncomfortable inside of a ski boot. First things first, um, you want to unlatch all the latches. Actually, it's off. Yeah, so. Um, all right, so you get your ski boots totally unlatched. Okay. And then you basically want to hold the two thingies here. And I like to sort of like, um, like just pull it almost inside out. Like you are completely pulling your ski boot open. This is basically the only way I can get my foot in. So once, um, once your boot's open, this is when you would put on your toe warmer. And the toe warmer goes like right here. And this one's old, so it's not gonna stick, but normally like it sticks right there. Um, and then what you do is you put your foot in and it won't go. And actually mine is always painful right there. So you have to grab the back latch here and the front latch, and then you push down and pull up and push. So you're gonna pull up with your back hand and you're gonna use the front one like a, like a lever. So you pull up and down, up, down, up until your foot slides in. And then you wanna pull up on this front tongue part. And that is the part that should be nice and flush against your shin. And so you pull up here and you settle it until it's nice and comfortable. Once that's done, you have to like kick your, you have to kick your heel like that a couple times. You really wanna sink your heel as far back as possible. Um, so get it, get your foot way back there. All right, so now we're gonna buckle the boots. Um, the most important latch is the one that you start with. And this one right here, this is the number one most important latch. So that's where you start. Um, the idea is just to get one on, just one, and then latch it down. Okay, so now to get the ankle latch um, to the right level of tightness, you kind of go back and forth for a little bit between the top and bottom latch. So, um, you kind of use this one to sort of tighten a little bit, and you can see that this one is loose. And so when you're putting ski boots on, you really want a tightness like that. You don't want a tightness like that. This is way too loose. This is really what you want. And this is too loose. So I'm gonna tighten this one one more time, and I'm gonna check. This is still pretty loose. Actually, it's not too bad. Um, but again, this is your most important buckle. So if you're gonna go tighter, let's see, this is what I need my mitten for. Fix my hands. Yeah, that's how tight I like my boots, right here. Um, and so then this one, you can tell now that this one's the right tightness, this one's too loose. So this one has to go tighter as well. That's better. Okay, so once you have this buckle done, then you do this buckle, and then you just keep going up. So then you tie your strap. And the idea is that you tighten up here and sometimes when you do that, you find that you have to tighten this, this buckle as well. Um, and I don't want to. I actually don't, I don't love this top one super tight. But one thing that you can also do is if, if, if these 
um, if this distance is too much to tighten, what I, you can also do is swirl this guy to make it just a little bit tighter, a little bit looser, and then you can get a better fit. So it goes this buckle, this buckle, this, and then sort of recheck to make sure that everything is the right tightness. Um, and this, having this nice and tight will give you a ton of control and it'll also prevent um, the black and blue <laughs> from happening on your shin. Once this is all set, then you just, you know, then you go down here and you can mess around. I actually prefer, I actually prefer these a little bit looser than they say you're supposed to. But again, just check to make sure your buckles are, you know, nice and tight. And that's it. Um, if you have like a heater in your boot, make sure it goes under your snow pants. Pull those down. And yeah, then you just have to, you know, do the other one. So <laughs> that's it guys. Have fun.